and welcome back to another video guys now that's right today we're finally here with 2021's dune really excited to finally talk about this movie it's been a long time coming it's one that i've been very much anticipating and um yeah just excited to come on here and talk about it so without further ado let's dive into the movie this movie is directed by dennis Villain I, I can't even pronounce his name, but most people will know him as the director from Arrival, Blade Runner 2049 and Prisoners. And this, of course, is the film adaptation of the first book, Dune. This film has a stacked cast, and i got to say, this is one of the most impressive casts we, we're going to see. we got Timothy Chalamet, Chalamet, I think is how you say his name. Um, Rebecca Ferguson, Zendaya, Oscar Isaacs, Jason Momoa, Stellan Skarsgård, Josh Brolin, Harvey R. Bardam, just Dave Bautista as well. Uh, you know, just just an incredible, incredible lineup there. And um, we all sort of knew this film was going to be something a bit special. Uh, you know, th this guy's movies always sort of are, you know, as I say, some of the ones I just mentioned. Especially looking at Blade Runner 2049, even though my personal favourite is probably Prisoners by S only a smidge. Blade Runner 2049 screams how epic and incredible and how much effort go into this guy's filmmaking and his style is very unique and it feels big and bold and epic. And Dune is no exception. Dune does so many things incredibly well. For a start, I want to talk about the score by Hans Zimmer and the sound mixing because I was expecting this film to blow me away visually. But I think the sound really surprised me. I knew it'd be good, but wow! First, the score was unbelievably, like, just so good. It was so prominent throughout the movie. It played huge parts. And it sort of reminded me of almost a modern-day John Williams, of trying to capture this new epic sci-fi, um, you know, sound that, that is going to uh, make the film feel unique. I think Hans Zimmer put together here... One of his best scores, maybe even his best. I'm a little bit tempted to say, you know. Um, I need to play it a few more times because I've honestly played the soundtrack like twice since I've seen this movie. Um, but the sound mixing as well is also fantastic. Um, there's a lot of interesting things that go on in this being a sci-fi movie. A lot of the, the, the sound designs for the ships and like their um, uh, shield suits and stuff. And I think the sound mixing works really great there as well visually the film is gorgeous there are so many beautiful shots throughout this movie um dune the planet itself arachnus i think is what it's called it's not the most interesting planet it is just a big desert with a few rocks but it somehow they managed to make it look so much more interesting than that it's gorgeous um and i got to see it in imax which is the way it should be seen imax 4k i can't believe that some people are watching this at home on their laptops it's that's ridiculous um but yeah it, it it looks visually so stunning which is but we we sort of expected that the acting on top of it also adds another layer of how great this is and i think um the script as well is incredibly tight and of course the story is what it is you know it comes from the book i had a teaser i haven't read the books but i had a teaser because i watched the david lynch original movie which admittedly i'm not a big fan on but i got a teaser of what the story was going to be um so yeah i think this film really does nearly everything right but i do have one issue with it and that is pacing i mean this movie does have pacing issues but it is the first part again hoping that the second part doesn't have this because if it didn't have this it would be Blade Runner 2049 all over again, where it's like, this is just damn near perfection. There are some slow moments, that, for sure, where I could see a lot of people dropping off. Um, if this, if, you know, if you're kind of more of a casual movie goer, there are moments which are a little bit, I want to say, use the word boring. Some moments the film really dips a couple times, and I think that also um, goes towards the runtime here. I think this film could be trimmed down a little bit. Probably only by about 15 minutes. There isn't much I'd take out. Because this film is very good at building tension and stuff. And I think you need those slower scenes. This isn't me criticising slow scenes. Like, I just want action all the time. But I think the movie does constantly sort of go like this at one point. Where it dips and dabs. And it it it, 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 it affects the movie a bit. Um, but overall, this is a great film. As I say, sound, visually, acting. 
also also world building i want to say this is some of the best sci-fi world building i've seen since maybe the star wars prequels i think it has a great job at that um you know there's some ship designs here which are just awesome again i don't know anything about the books haven't read them admittedly and some doom fans are probably gonna have a go at me here because these ship designs are probably in the books and stuff but visually to me it's the, it was the first time i've seen a lot of this stuff and it was really kind of blowing me away and i really liked how um the story kind of flowed with that as well um a lot of the 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 places that they were at and stuff played major parts and stuff like the designs of them because of course arachnus it's not a very safe planet so i like the fact they weren't just a huge open city it was all sort of closed in and stuff just some really really clever stuff and of course the giant worm the giant worm looked awesome yeah i was excited to see the giant worm that sort of <laughs> as far as my do knowledge went before this movie really after watching the david lynch one i was like i like the worm <laughs> anyway dune i'm gonna give 2021's dune i'm gonna give an eight and a half out of ten to it's a really solid movie it's not this guy's best it's not quite as good as I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be... I didn't want the pacing issues. Um, that's the only thing that let this film down. It, it It's a very, very good movie. It's very good. Um, but yeah, not, not quite as good as I wanted it to be. But hey, it's a very bloody good effort. It's a great movie. One of the best of the year, without a doubt. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it as always. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message. And as always, I'll see you next time for another video. Bye-bye.